What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Figure It Out! Out of the Basement's action figure talk show. Today, we are finally, we're a little late on this one, we're finally bringing our top five action figure wish list from Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. This is, of course, part of our series where we're going to go through almost every Star Wars movie <laughs> and give our top five wish list figures from said movies. Of course, I'm Nate. I'm joined with Justin. What's up, guys? And Steven. Howdy. And of course, before we get started on the episode, what figures would you like to see from episode three? Let us know in the comments down below. For the Black Series 6-inch. Yes, Black Series 6-inch line. Say that three times fast. No honorable hey. mention today, but we've got some bangers. Episode yeah. three... Probably the easiest one so far yeah. to come up with characters for. But with the, with the prequels, like, there's a lot of characters... We're not repeating any yeah. from episodes one or two. So obviously no Count Dooku, which would be easily probably the number one figure from the prequels that which, we would want to get. Which at this point, Count Dooku is rumored. There's a little rumor going around that we might be getting a Count Dooku I mean, soon. Watch our videos. Hasbro does watch our videos. It's confirmed. You guys are welcome for Rex, <laughs> Mace Windu. Okay, everything on this list is going to happen, and you're going to have to thank us. So smash like to thank us now. Coming in at number five is, of course, Chewbacca's best buddy, and we're talking about Tarful. My dude. Goodbye, Tarful. <laughs> Goodbye, Chewbacca. Chewbacca. <laughs> Tarful, of course, is like the only other Wookiee that's ever had a name. In Star Wars, at least in the actual main line movies, um, not really a whole lot to his character, of course, because he just is a different design. He is just a Wookiee, but I really like Tarful's design. Mm -hmm. I like the dreadlocks. I like the little armor piece he wears. Mm -hmm. I think that it would just be a really cool figure. Obviously, it would be super easy to make yeah. because there's already a Wookiee body mold. You really wouldn't have to change much about it. He. Uh... Tarful specifically also because we we're getting a lot well we're not getting a lot but we have Commander Gree mm -hmm. so maybe we can get some sort of a Kashyyyk diorama going or just more characters from that Kashyyyk battle scene because we also have another Kashyyyk battle scene character on yeah. this list I mean there's too. already Yoda Commander Gree yeah. Chewbacca we could get Tarful yep um, it would just be a really easy, simple pick for Hasbro to do. Not a, not a lot of uh, changes really to be had. He's a little bit furrier than Chewbacca, but that's about it. Coming in at number four, we just got General Grievous finally. Thank you. If only he would stand up for longer than five seconds. Uh, now we need his guards, which of course is the Magna Guard mm -hmm. that we see at the beginning of Episode 3. Steve, you really wanted this one on the list. Why don't you talk about it a little bit? Yeah, I, I remember as a kid going through each of the prequels, it seemed like when the trailers came out, like the baddies kind of ads, the, the side baddies just kept getting more badass and badass. And I remember as a kid, Obviously, thinking you know there were stakes in these movies um, <laughs> that like I remember uh, when I first saw the super battle droids from Attack of the Clones, I was like, "Oh no! How are <laughs> they gonna beat the battle droids?" And then seeing the Magna Guards, you know, having not obviously not lightsabers, but you know, double sided. Yeah. They got their stat electric purple electricity yeah. staffs. I was just like, "Oh no!" Yeah. <laughs> So, like, just seeing the hype of the new side uh, baddies it always got to me as a kid. Yeah. I always, always liked those. And I remember uh, in the Lego Star Wars games, the Magna Guards just being the biggest bitch to kill. Like, yeah. They're, they were just, like, they were really. Something. It's like you cut off their head and then they still, they're still coming at you. Yeah. I remember them being tough enemies in the Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith, the video game. Mm. I remember yeah. struggling fighting them as a child. At all, because they would all they just would block your lightsaber. Like every other enemy in the game, couldn't really do much against you, but for some reason they could block your lightsaber and fight you well. Yeah. So I always was like, I hate this part of the game. Yeah. And I know them from Star Wars Battlefront Two. Hmm. You can play as them. They didn't have their staffs. They just had like guns that shot like little EMP, like boom. No. Oh, okay. But. 
they were still in the game. And then yeah. I think also getting this in the Black Series uh, would add to the Utapau diorama. For all you diorama makers out there, the Utapau True. cast, because you got Grievous, Obi-Wan, Battle Droid. You got a thing, Super Battle Droids are on the way. And then you have the 212th regular clone trooper yeah. from that four pack. True. So it's, and it would be a really cool figure. I think the staff could be really cool. They could put some little light purple plastic mm -hmm. effects on the ends of the staff just to give it that little bit of extra dimension. Don't some of them have like kind of a cape-esque mm -hmm. thing? Yeah, I, I think so. I'd have to watch it again. But... It's been a minute since I've watched episode three, but I feel like some of them have like something. Mm -hmm. But either way, would be a really cool figure to see from the Black Series, so hopefully we can get that soon. Coming in at number three uh, is is like a holy grail of mine, and that is Kit Fisto. Love Kit. Mm -hmm. Love my boy. He blocks once. <laughs> he blocks once. He wasn't too disoriented by Force Scream, right, boys? <laughs> uh, I, I would like, obviously, his look in the movies with the robes but then also maybe make the top robe a little removable as a mm. reference to the original clone wars series and i believe in the yeah. in the 3d one because he takes his i mean he has his shirt off quite a he bit. can swim you know he's a little amphibian creature of yeah. some kind so i think it would be cool if maybe he had a little removable top that's mm. the three and three quarter inch figure i have from the original yeah. clone series is him with just just his pants on it's just a really it, cool design. Yeah, definitely iconic. Yeah, one of the best. One of the most recognizable of like the second tier Jedi that yeah. aren't Mace Windu or Yoda in yeah. the prequels. Which, speaking of that, we need more Jedi in general in the mm -hmm. Black Series. So like, this is kind of just like a cry for help that we need more. You know, right. Shock T, Ayla Sakura, Kiati Mundi, Kit Fisto, etc. etc. Luminar Unduli, etc. I mean, et yeah, the Jedi are no brainers. Yeah. We need them all. Yeah. And we need them now. And especially with how awesome Mace Platoon. Windu is as a figure. Yeah. With those sweet, sweet butterfly joints. Love it. We need more Jedi. Coming in at number two is a trooper. You know your boys at Out of the Basement. We love our troopers. We'll take <laughs> as many troopers as possible. Just keep that, that are already from the movies, not new designs. We're good on new designs. Yeah, we don't need we don't need anything. We to don't divert. need ATACT -A pilot, beach pilot, beach trooper, death trooper, Rogue One, <laughs> Be five thousand different <laughs> beach death trooper, beach d death orangutan trooper. Uh, and this trooper we're talking about specifically is the clone scout trooper from the forty. First Elite Core, that is the Kashyyyk mm -hmm. version of the Scout Clone Trooper. The perfect figure to release because they released the Commander Gree. Yep. There's one standing right next to him, and then I always love that shot of them running over the on top of the cliff and then yep. shooting down. And this would be a pretty easy figure for Hasbro to make too, because granted, it's a little bit different. The, yeah, definitely. The clone design of the Scout Trooper is a little different, but. We already mostly have a clone or a scout trooper body that they could go off of, and it's pretty much would just be a repaint. You just paint a little bit of camouflage and I, on that I, boy. I always loved that scene with the camouflage yeah, clone troopers. I loved it. Was so it. cool to see. I used to have, uh, I actually had when I was little, like uh, the speeder with the cl the clone mm. scout trooper on it, the camouflage trooper. That would always be like my favorite thing. It was just a little three and three quarter inch. Figure. Just the green visor is just so cool. Yeah, it's the camouflage. It's completely ridiculous how just a simple, simple little bit of camouflage changes everything, right, Steven? True. <laughs> and finally, coming in at number one, super short episode here. We are just barreling through the 212th Airborne Trooper, which Justin, this was your pick. So mm. why don't you talk a little bit about? It? Well, for a little bit of a refresher. They are only ever seen in the movies in Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, of course. In the Utapau scene with Obi-Wan's 212th Legion of Clones. However, if you played Star Wars Battlefront 2, if you played as the Republic in the Clone Wars era, you could play as one of these same design troopers but different color scheme of the Sharpshooter class. The Sniper class mm. was the same exact design of the... 212th Airborne from the film. 
Uh, the most distinguishing feature is the helmet, and the helmet just looks so dope. True. Just, it, I think it's one of the most underrated clone or trooper designs of Star Wars in general. Uh, you know, how it has, like, the straight line. It almost looks kind of like one of these Spartan designs in the newer Halo games. Yeah, true. I can definitely see that. So, and they always have, like, a kind of a kilt mm -hmm. as well. So I think it'd be totally awesome just to have a super detailed uh, one of those troopers with, you know, dirt and grime because they've been on Utapau, but also have the cloth kilt. Yeah, true. I think uh, that could be really cool. Yeah, I agree. Uh, definitely one of the most underrated designs. You don't hear it mentioned a lot. And all that would really take for them to make this figure, too, is probably just a new helmet. Because mm -hmm. that's also what we kind of consider when we're going through this wish list is like, how realistic it is that we would actually get any of these figures and definitely troopers would be something that are pretty easy for hasbro to make considering they've at least made like one of each variation of a trooper at some point and and troopers are just simply it's good for them because they only have to do minor changes and on top of that troopers are the most one of the most desirable things you guys probably would agree with me that the troopers are the best aspect of the black series yeah that's true those are usually the best figures yeah because they're not human faces which they do have the face printing and i wouldn't even say we need removable helmets or anything we just need the trooper yeah so i mean you could call it a cheap route but when i look at episode three they have so many cool new trooper designs with the phase two of the clone troopers like uh you said commander bly was yeah, he's rumored. he's rumored right now. And, I mean, he has a super cool design as well. That's like Ayla Sakira's yeah. Legion of Clones, who also appeared in the Clone Wars television series. So, true. I just, I hope they do all the variations of the clones, because that's... The difference is that the, those movies are already there, okay? The new movies are coming out, and people probably said the same exact thing when Revenge <laughs> of the Sith came out, like... Oh, they're only doing these new trooper designs because uh, they could sell more toys. But at least it's already established, and I'm not presently seeing the ATACT pilot, the, the Scarif trooper, Death trooper, Pimp Daddy trooper, all the Imperial Patrol trooper, like the different. Except, except for I still buy all of those troopers anyway. I, I didn't buy the Pimp Daddy or the ATACT pilot, but I got two I, Pimp Daddies. I, I, I would agree, but. Yeah, of course. Give us more clones, and I think they should save the removable helmets for just characters that are a little bit more important. Yeah, like Commander Bly. Right. Could, could probably come with a removal. I hope he does. If it's like a named uh, clone troop. Yeah, we don't but need... But Gree doesn't have a removal helmet. Yeah, that is true, but do we ever see him without his helmet, though? In the Clone Wars, yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't got that far, so I don't mm. know. With all of that being said, that is our list. That is our top five wish list for Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like on it, subscribe if you're new. Of course, we always take episode suggestions for Figure It Out. We mostly talk about Black Series, NECA, sprinkle in a little bit of Marvel Legends. So if you have a suggestion for us, let us know in the comments down below and we will get to it. Eventually. 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 But we do try to balance uh, subscriber suggested yep. topics with topics we come up with our own, which is obviously we are now going through the saga. Yes. Trying to bring balance to the, the figs. Hey! I like, I like that. <laughs> I thought that's where you were going with it. No. And I thought we were going to have a nice moment where like, we say the same thing at the same yeah, time. Well, we didn't. Anyways, I'm Nate. I've been joined with Justin. See you guys later. And Steven. Take care. And we will see you guys next time on Out of the Basement.